Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetech4teachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at two ways that you can create shared folders for gathering pictures and videos that your kids might take on field trips, or if you just want to build a media gallery of pictures and videos that kids can reuse in their presentations, this is a great way to go about it. So the first method is to use Google Drive and create a shared folder. And we'll just call this one field trip pics and video. And we'll say create. And now let's change the setting on the sharing. And we'll switch it from the default private to get shareable link. We'll say anyone with the link can edit. Now, if you're in a Google Apps for Education account, you could say that only people within your domain can edit. Uh, so that's another option there. And I'm going to go down to the advanced menu here. And I'm going to say prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. So that's one way. Now anyone who has access to that folder in their Google Drive can upload pictures and video. They do it directly from their phones if they wanted to. The other method is to use box.com. So if you're not a Google Apps user, you go to box.com. And I'm already logged into my account, as you can see. And we'll create a new folder. And we'll call this one Field Trip Picks and Video. And now we can invite people to work on this with us. I'm going to invite Max at freetechforteachers.com. And Max will be an editor. You can see I can also say that Max could be only a viewer. And so now Max has access to that folder. Uh, and he can upload any pictures or videos that he has on his phone. And if he has the mobile app, he can do it very quickly. Otherwise, he'll have to log into box.com directly. So those are two ways that you can create shared folders to gather media from your students. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.